Hi, my name is Helen Colvin, and this is my advice to my seventh grade self. Ever since I was born, I was always raised to be outspoken and bold and question everything. And once I started school, this translated into questioning unfair authority. And um, I went to this crazy school where we had to walk in a single file line everywhere, and we had to walk like that. And if like you had to move your hand for anything, like you were itchy or something, they would get mad at you, and it was crazy. Um, and I would get in trouble a lot. It was kind of weird. And I remember one time one of my friends said to me, like, why don't you just like keep quiet and don't say anything? It's okay. And I don't remember exactly what I said, but that, that's just not me. I can't do that. But everyone thought I was kind of weird, like they didn't really like me. And I didn't have a lot of friends. And once I got to sixth grade, I realized this because um, middle school and everything, you know. Um, I was like, whoa, no one likes me. What am I going to do? So I tried to change myself to fit in with the other kids and everything and it did not work at all. I would, I had to use like my total concentration to act like proper and everything. And once like I paid attention to something else, I would like totally like just go back to my old ways. It was really funny. Um, oh, not for me at the time though. Um, but once I got to eighth grade, uh, I kind of mastered not being myself and fitting in with all these kids. But once quarantine happened, I wasn't around those kids, so I got to be myself again. And I am so happy that I am myself, because if I wasn't, then I wouldn't be sitting here with you as a bold, outspoken Thai American lesbian who wants to fight for anyone and everyone who can't fight for themselves. So my advice to my seventh grade self and anyone else is to not try to change yourself for anyone or anything because either it won't work or it won't be worth it.